got nine logs down over on the other ridge. We're going to take the mill over there and start uh, cutting up some two by sixes. Spot. Perfect. We're going to set this up. We'll time how long it's going to take us. It's all set up, it only took us 10 minutes, which is about the uh, going speed for us when we're putting it on a somewhat level surface. If we picked a different surface that wasn't very level, it would have taken more like 15 minutes. But that's pretty easy. You can see that I ran the mill over it before I did the final leveling is because that mill head is probably five, six, seven hundred pounds. So I ran it over it, see if it would flex at all. And then I went back and re-leveled and it's perfectly level right now. Awesome. Over here, you can see all the logs that James got out of the woods yesterday. What kind of logs are these, babe? Most of those are red oak, but there is one chinkapin oak in there as well, which is not as hard as red oak. We'll probably start with some red oak logs. Uh, probably that one there. That one's a really nice one. Okay. Over in there. That one over there is real nice. Okay. Let's get to it. Red oak, uh, very dense wood. A lot of people use this for furniture. Uh, we're actually going to be building this up into two by sixes for our pole barn that we're going to be building. Some people might think is a waste, but uh, we're going to be doing a pond out here next year, big pond. So we're going to have to get them trees out of there. Uh, may as well put it to good use, supplement some lumber from our pole barn, cut down on some cost. But yep, so I'm going to do some figuring, um, see how I can get the most two by sixes out of this. We got it somewhat square. Um, these are going to be used as the girts on the pole barn. So these, uh, this part is not going to make no difference. Typically, girts are two by fours or two by sixes. One or two by sixes means we're cutting them for ourselves. So yep, that's what we're going to do. This is beautiful lumber, as you can see here. It's got some real beautiful grain in it. Um, this would make some nice furniture wood, um, but we got plenty of oak. If we ever want to make furniture in the future. Uh, but I personally like walnut. That's one of my favorite woods to work with. There you have it, 12 two by sixes, ready to go. The next log is on the mill, we're ready to go. Well, it's time for a blade change out. I actually, for the first time ever, I hit this backstop here and uh, made a huge difference in the blade. And you can see there where it took a dive because of how dull it was. I managed to get it through the board. 
So I'm gonna walk back to the house and grab a new blade. Um, hopefully we can get through the rest of these without doing that because I've got about four blades left before I gotta go through and sharpen them, so. All right, I'll be back. Getting the new blade on since my baby joined the club. He finally hit one of the metal things. I've done pretty well for myself. I know, we've had the mill almost two years exactly now. That's his first time hitting it. It was about time he quit being so perfect. I just cut all of these cedar stickers so we can stack more lumber in the barn out of some cedar scraps. So we're going to take these to the barn, stack them, and James is going to get the next log out from over there and start cutting it up. That'll be log number three for the day. And it's stacked. Log number three is done. So far, we got 34 two by sixes. James has been over here sawing logs. And look at this. He just was sawing up a log, and this thing was in the dead center of a tree. It's aluminum, so he's guessing maybe it's from an old tree stand. James says that it cut through the aluminum pretty easily, but it was the nails that really messed up the blade. So now we are putting the new blade on for the second time today. There we go. One day's work on the mill. We got a total of 54 two by sixes. We're putting a dent in it. As you can see, it is quick and easy for us to move our mill about our farm. So it makes it nice to where when we drop some pretty good sized logs, we can just leave them lay, take our mill to it. 